Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do uh, pan pastels. I got asked by a few people um, in the little series that I was doing on how to make your gelatos and your Neo Color 2s permanent um, without having to go buy anything extra. You know, I just use school glue um, or you could use gel medium, but a few people asked me about pan pastels. Now, I love showing things and using them in different ways so we can really get bang for our buck. So I've never done it with pan pastels, but I thought, well, let's try it. I have my school glue I got from the dollar store. I have a button. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> I have just one of the trays of my pan pastels. I really don't use these as much as I really want to or I should, if that makes sense. So I have that, and I'm going to use, let's see. Thing. We'll just use that since that little thing on there is all runny daddy. Okay, so I'm going to take some white school glue and I'm going to squeeze it like that. And then I'm going to take some color. So I'm just going to use this and I'm going to do darker colors because um, I want to, you know, we want to see it. I want you guys to see it. So I'm just brushing my little applicator onto the pan pastel. And I'm going to lay it here. And then I'm going to take it and just on here, I'm going to look how beautiful that is. This is just watercolor paper. So you can see it just goes on beautifully. So I'm going to see if I can do a different way with that. And then I'm going to take, and I'm not going to use this with the glue. I'm going to use a little paintbrush to mix it. So I'm going to take a dry paintbrush or you can use wet, doesn't matter. Um, you don't want it too wet and I'm going to put that on there and I'm going in and let's see what this does. Okay. It's mixing. You want to make sure you mix both sides of your brush, go back and forth because uh, you want to make sure it's all mixed. I have it on my brush and let's do it here and see the color. Okay. So that's our pan pastel with our white school glue. Get a little bit more. So essentially what we're doing is we're making it a paint, a pen pastel paint. Okay, now let's rinse that and use a different color just because I like playing. Who doesn't like to play? Okay, now I'll take my brush again. And what other color? Uh, let's do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it off and I'm going to flip it. So then that's on the bottom. Um, yeah, I, I am. Oh, I'm going to do it. Yep. That's my plan. There we go. So that's cleaner on the bottom. Now watch, cause you do get it on your fingers. So if you go to touch anything, just that you're aware, let's do uh, this light blue. Why not? So I'm going to get some of that. You see, I'm really getting in there. I got it on my you're not gonna be able to see it there, Kelly. What is the problem? We'll move it over this way a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little bit more and lay it there. Okay. And then I'm gonna do this right here to wipe it off, but I'm gonna show you the color. Okay, and that's just going on like a regular pan pastel. And I'm just gonna show you how it reacts in different ways. And you can take this, wipe it on your uh, paper towel or your, uh, I have rags all over the place, old, old paint rags <laughs> that I put them on. And then I'm going to take my brush again with some of the glue. Now my brush is a little wet because I had it in the water, but what I'm going to do is take all that delicious. Now, yes, you can use matte medium. Yes, you can use Mod Podge. Yes, you can use um, decoupage. You can use whatever you have. I'm using white school glue because for people starting out, you can get white school glue very inexpensively. And then I'm going to go like this. And look how pretty. Butt it up against there. All right. And this is the same pan pastel as down there. Okay. So now while that dries, this is just it plain. Uh, let's see what it does. I have my wet brush. It is fairly wet and I'm going in and I'm using water only on this half side so I can show you the other side. All right. And you can see it picks it up and it, and it smears it. 
And then let's do with the blue the same. Now what's great about pan pastels is you can work on top of them and everything like that. But if you want, you know, some more bang for your buck, this is a great way to do it. So while those dry, let me talk about something. And from Annalise Creates yesterday left a comment on my video I did with the Neocolor 2s. And she said that I could use a uh, fixative. Well, I was going through this because a lot of you didn't don't want to get fixatives, can't afford fixatives. But I wanted to bring this up because maybe some of you, you know, want to get a fixative. Now, a lot of people use uh, hairspray. You go to the dollar store, you get some, um, not the pump, but you want the spray hairspray uh, to use. Um, and they do that to seal everything. And I've never done that, but a lot of people say it works really well. If you are watching this and you have done it with regular hairspray, let us know down below and what your trick is and how to do it and what kind of results you had. I love Spectrafix uh, Pastel Fixative um, because it's all natural. It's odor free. It's delicious. And I use this a lot when I'm doing things that I want it to be uh, fixed, you know, to the paper with my mixed media so I can continue on. So you definitely can find this on Google, on uh, Amazon and um, you can always Google it and find it, you know, wherever you want. Um, but it's all natural. It's, I, I love it. And it seals pastels, pencils, charcoal, watercolor, pencil crayons. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, but like I said, you can also use your spray hairspray. Okay. So, I have these. Now, let me blend. Let's go in and get, let me get some of this pastel, this pink. Now, I'm going to go in on this side because it's dry, you know, because I laid it down. But look how you can layer on top. Now, I'll go on here too. Now, obviously, it's darker down here, but you can still see when I lift it up, maybe you'll see better, that it does turn a little more purpley. But you can blend it. And do your thing. And um, I'm running my fingers. So you can see it's still, um, it's not fixed, but that's what it does, the pastels. It's like using, you know, a water soluble pencil, except this, or crayon, but except this is pastels. I love them for what they're able to do. And like I said, I like doing um, things, having multi purposes for things. And we're going to see what this is like in a second after it's dry. So, that is that. Let me put my lid on here before I forget. And I'll end up dropping it and doing goodness knows what I'm going to be doing with it. Okay. And I'll turn this. Now for this leftover, while that's, I'm letting that dry for one more second, take a piece of, um, of paper and it could be in your art journal or anything else. And what I like to do is I'm just going to now you can see that white school glue is drying. It's holding it on there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going in with that glue. And if I have to add a little bit more water, I will, because the glue is just going to thin down enough to make it more um, spreadable. And then I'm just going to lay this all over here and it's starting a background for me. Um, or if you're using your art journal, use that, or even a piece of paper that you have. And I'll just pick it up. And what I'll do is I'll leave this dry. And then I will, um, I can rip it up and use it in mixed media. And I'm just going to go scrape a little bit more just to throw it around. Because really, I hate, I hate wasting. <laughs> okay, so then I'll set this aside to dry and that'll be delish. And then I will wipe this up. And it's only white school glue or even the Mod Podge, whatever. It's water soluble, so you can definitely uh, just wipe it up. And put this over here. All right, so feels very good. So let's see what we can do first. So first I'm going to go in, I'm going to do on these two ends. I'm going to use my regular, this is my Energel uh, Metal Tip 0.7 pen. I love this. You probably see me use it all the time. It is a hot mess of dirt and paint, not dirt, dirt. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you can definitely write on these, but they're a little waxy. I like it though. And then let me see if I have, I love to draw. So you can see that's a little dark. Now I'm sure the lighter colors would be uh, much better to use, but your pencil goes on it. And then the last thing I wanted to do was a marker. 
So you can just see how that, so that's your best bet, you know, if you want it to come through real good. And that's why I love it for mixed media. I can play. I don't care if it smears when I'm doing mixed media because um, that's what I'm obviously, you know, that's what I'm going for. I love, especially if I'm doing grungy mixed media. Okay, so now we have this. So I'm going to take my, my brush and wipe it off one time and then I'm going to wash it again so there's no glue. Leave it wet. And it is. And I'm going in. And look, I'm going to get more water and then I'm going to lift it up and show you. Look, listen. Now it could have been not dry there all the way, but that's fine. I don't care. Look at the blue. And that's probably what happened. But look, and you still get, make sure it's dry all the way. I'm, I'm doing it on a video and you know, I don't want to keep you here for six hours watching literal glue dry. <laughs> so now I'm going to dab it all over. And if we would do it on here, See how that runs? Plus that marker isn't set or pencil, whatever it was. It must've been a water soluble pencil, but you can definitely get great, 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 great colors and mixtures with this. Oh, I love it. Anyway, that's for me to play later. Oh, I like playing. So you see, yes, you definitely can use your, um, white school glue, your matte medium, your gel medium, your collage podge, your mod podge, your decoupage, your, oh, what else is there? I'm sure there's other things. <laughs> Anything that goes dry, dries clear. And then you can use your fixative if you want. If you want me to, I have demos of me using a fixative on my channel, but if you want a new, uh, you know, a new uh, video on it because you're new and you're not real sure, let me know down below. I'll do a video and that's it. So yes, you can definitely use your pan pastels and this goes for as well, your regular pastels and your stick form and everything else. You definitely can use it and make it permanent and use it in your art journal or whatever. So you do get bang for your buck and you can use it in different ways. So if you guys like these kind of things and showing you different demos and that kind of stuff, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you guys, um, watched to the end because I really, really appreciate it. And I love you guys. And, um, what else? What else? What else? That's about it. I think as always be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting and see, this is almost dry, but look, I got that background started with just that little bit, the excess I picked up here. So always do that. Cause you you always start with no black blank page. You know, you can go in your art journal, pick a page, smush it down, do whatever. And, um, you already have a page started. So that's fantastic. So let me have a thumbs up and I don't know anything you guys want to see. Just ask. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Um, bye-bye.